California's dominant and infectious COVID-19 strain is now on the CDC's watch list as one of four variants of concern in the world. Some up to 50% more transmissible, the one here 20% more transmissible. Joining us, Dr. Peter Chin Hong, infectious disease specialist, UCSF. Doctor, thanks. Now, let's talk about the seriousness of these uh, variants. The South African variant is found in Santa Clara County. The Brazilian variant, UK has one. How big a threat are these given? that our state is opening up more and more. Uh, well, Alan, I, I think I will divide up all the variants into the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good is kind of, it's not really good, but compared to the other two, it is uh, the regular COVID. The bad is the UK variant and the California variant. And the ugly is are the Brazilian and South African variants. The bad, they're bad because they're more transmissible. The ugly, they're more transmissible and they can evade vaccines. The good news is that uh, we're not going to probably see a dominance of the Brazilian or the South African variants in the US or in the Bay Area. We're going to see the duking out between the UK variant and the California variant. And if the two went into a boxing ring, the UK variant will win because it's much more transmissible even than the California variant, as you pointed out. Yeah, I don't like any of them winning, but do we know how prevalent the variants really are given? Isn't it a random sampling of patients detecting the strains and what are they doing to sequence them? Exactly. So in the U.S., we trail the rest of the world or many countries in the world in terms of the percentage of samples that we sequence. We sequence less than 1% of the samples that are positive, um, as opposed to many countries like Scandinavia, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, which sequenced much, many more, proportionally speaking. But it's hopefully sort of a snapshot of what's going on, but you're right, it's probably some bias towards labs that can do the sequencing uh, and not necessarily a representative sample. Many people think it's just the tip of the iceberg uh, mm. in terms of what we're seeing. Wow, and this UCSF study showing the infectious strain here is now the dominant variant. The protective antibodies used in the vaccines and the therapeutics, are they not as effective against it? Is that, that's pretty concerning. Yeah, it is concerning when you think that treatment may not be effective for some of the variants. We have data now, and you alluded to the study from UCSF uh, published in preprint uh, recently showing that it's not only potentially uh, less effective for developing antibodies from the vaccine, but uh, it's not as good when we use uh, monoclonal <laughs> antibodies as these antibody drugs to treat people with early disease. But the cocktail seems still seem to work. In fact, uh, the manufacturer, uh, the government, the, F the federal government pulled out one of the drugs because from Arizona and California because it, it doesn't seem to work because we have so many variants, that particular California variant here. Oh, changing all the time. Earlier, Wilson Walker was at the Oakland airport showing us that vaccinated people, they're ready to travel, but a big portion of the population still isn't protected. So in your opinion, how safe is it to resume travel now or even resume some of our, quote, normal activities? I think, uh, you know, it just depends on the area. I know people are anxious and itching to get back to some semblance of normal. But I would say not, don't do it necessarily, but do it cautiously. And I think we all know what we need to do, wearing masks, uh, you know, washing our hands, Watching the wind, the ventilation, that's really, really important. And of course, uh, social distancing when you can. So I think all these things, we know what to do. Uh, we just they relief, particularly with this less forgiving, uh, transmissible variants that are around. It's kind of upended youth sports in Minnesota. It's responsible for a prison outbreak in uh, Michigan. Uh, you know, this is not the same COVID that we saw a year ago. Wow, it's amazing. Just hang on, everybody. All right, Dr. Peter Chin Hong, thank you so very much. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Alan.